What's the crack YouTube ISS Cyber Server Stack here and I'm just going to show you um, what I'm going to do as kind of like a summer snack thing in a healthy summer snack thing. Rocky's going to laugh his ass off because he, uh, I know how much he likes my um, cooking videos. But what I'm going to do is just like a healthy snack that you can get, uh, especially it's great in the summertime. And um, what I'm just going to do is to top and tail these, take these, and um, it's going to be like a little pizza kind of thing, but it's going to be good for you. So I'm just going to get something of this size and maybe cut that in half. Uh, what I'm going to do is take it down like this and take it down like this. And I'm not cutting them too thick, but I'm not cutting them too thin. And you're going to basically have little pieces like this, right? And I'm going to do the same to this one. And this one. And I could go for another one on that, but I'm not going to. Now this one, I'm going to cut it in half as well, and I'm going to do the same thing. And what we're going to do is basically put them flat down like this, and then put a topping on top for, for I've got mushrooms, tomatoes, and I've got some uh, olives. And that's going to be just, you're going to put it up and bang it back like that, and we're going to see how it's done. So again, I'm going to go down like this. You don't want it too thin because it's going into the oven. If you make it too thin, um, it's just going to turn into mush, and you don't want that. So thick enough, but not too thick. So what we're going to do now is we just put these out on uh, the oven sheet, and I'll show you how we're going to put them together. Okay, so just before I, I'm going to load these with topping, I'm just going. What I've got here is I don't know whether you can see that. So it's a bit of pesto with uh, olive oil through it. And I'm just, uh, it's only a teaspoon. I'm just going to put a bit on each one of these. Each one of the pieces. And that's going to be kind of like the base. You see where I'm going with the whole pizza thing? And you know what? You could probably do with a bit more of it. That's all I'm putting on this. Just, just to get a different taste in there. It's just a bit of pesto. Uh, some sunflower. Or not sunflower. Um, what do you call them? They've got in my head. Uh, some dried tomatoes. Pesto flavor. So that's what that is, and we're gonna bang them on like that. And I'm just gonna knock in the filling. What I have is um, mushrooms here and tomatoes, and then I have what I think is gonna look, uh, is gonna taste nice, is um, some olives, black and green olives. So just bang them on like this. And you know, I was thinking I wouldn't have enough. I think it, I was thinking I was having too much filling, but um, it turns out that I, I needed more, and I still have a few more left over these. So bang on some tomatoes. And you know what? I don't think I'm gonna have enough tomatoes either. The fridge is full of them, but you don't have to as well. Keep it to the way I'm doing it. You can make up your own one. This is kind of a healthy snack instead of. Going for some sweets or going for a chocolate bar. This is good for you or chips or french fries or whatever. This is this is damn good for you. And look, there's gonna be a few that don't have tomato on it, but that's okay too. And then with this one, I'm gonna just put it here. And that's a mixture of uh, black olives and green olives. And then, just grate some cheese over the top. I'm not going to go too crazy on it. But um, I picked this up in Tesco today. It was half price. It's the only reason why I got it, because I'm a cheap ass. And then, um, yeah, it should be nice. So I'm just throwing the cheese in there. I'm not going to overdo it. I was actually looking for some goat's cheese. But um, when I saw this was half price, I was like, yoink. So let's just finish off this last bit here. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to neaten it up. Just keeping all these other bits popping in there. And the oven is set at 250. I'm going to bring it down to 200. And they're just going to pop in there. And we're going to see. I, I really don't know how I'm going to leave them in there. I'm going to constantly keep checking them. And then we'll get back to you when we're done. Okay, so this is like after, I don't know, four minutes, five minutes. And I forgot to season it. So make sure you season it. 
of black pepper. And I also forgot that it wouldn't be any harm if you just get some olive oil. So, what I have, I just give it a little drizzle. Okay. Like that. So, I mean, I think it's going to need eight minutes in total. Maybe a bit more, maybe a bit less. But I'll get back to you in a minute. Okay, guys, so there it is in all its glory. Um, 10 minutes is enough in the oven, it's just enough to keep it soft, but not too, not too soft if you know what I mean. It would be perfect for like a party or something like that, and it's a great kind of summertime snack, so I'll give it a taste, because I've never tasted it before. Um, so it should be nice. Mmm, that's damn good. So there you go guys, the courgette pizza thingy. And, um, yeah. You can make your own topping on it, and uh, perfect for the summertime, perfect for a party. Take it easy, have a good one, bye bye.